Can I welcome members to the sixth meeting in 2018 of the Delegated uh, Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one is decision on taking business in private, and it's proposed that we take items four, five, and six in private. Item four is the committee's approach to its scrutiny of the Prescription Scotland Bill at stage one. Item five is consideration of the key themes arising from the Minister's evidence last week on the Planning Scotland Bill. Uh, and item six is consideration of correspondence from the Minister for Social Security in regard to the committee's consideration of the Social Security Bill. Does the committee agree to take these items in private? Okay. Uh, agenda item two um, is consideration of an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure and no points have been raised by our advisers on the draft Local Government Finance Scotland Order 2018. Is the committee content with this instrument? Okay. Agenda item three is consideration of instruments subject to the negative procedure. And, and, the and we've got the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Amendment Regulations 2018, SSI 2018-69. These regulations make further amendments to the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Regulations 2012 and the Council Tax Reduction State Pension Credit Scotland Regulations 2012, which are principal regulations. And it's suggested by our legal advisers that the regulations raise a devolution issue for the same reasons as were discussed by the committee previously when considering the principal regulations uh, and subsequent amending instruments. And that's to say that the regulations raise a devolution issue as they may relate to matters which are reserved by section F1 of part two of schedule five to the Scotland Act 1998 in relation to social security schemes. It's recognized that the Scottish government takes a contrary view. Since September last year, a new exception 10 to the social security reservation has given the Scottish Parliament powers to create new benefit schemes in areas of devolved responsibility where the requirements of the exception are satisfied, including that the new scheme must be funded from the Scottish Consolidated Fund. In relation to the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Amendment Regulations 2017 and the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Amendment No. 2 Regulations, 2017 SSIs 41 and 326, the committee suggested to the Scottish Government that framing a new discrete scheme could avoid the committee's concern. Were that scheme to comply with the requirements of Exception 10, the committee also highlighted that a new discrete scheme would have a further benefit of accessibility to readers if consolidated regulations could be produced. The principal regulations are well in need of consolidation, as this is the 13th amending instrument. The committee recently wrote to the Cabinet Secretary for Finance and the Constitution to ask for a timetable for consolidation, and the Cabinet Secretary has indicated they will update the committee in the summer. Do members have any comments? No. Uh, so, does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground F on the basis that they raise a devolution issue? No. no. Okay. In that case, we'll uh, go to a vote. Um, so, I would propose um, that the committee considers that the regulations do raise a devolution issue and should be drawn to the attention of the Parliament on that basis. Are we agreed? Yes, no. no. So we'll, we'll vote. So all those in favour of the proposition, raise your hands. And those against? Okay, so that's 3-2. That's carried. Okay. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on SSI 2018, 34, 60 to 65 and 68. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. I now move the meeting into private session.